Bermuda grass. Alright. Well, the thing about Bermuda grass, Bermuda grass is uh, probably one of the most, well, I guess it and St. Augustine are extremely heat tolerant. But Bermuda, uh, the difference between Bermuda grass and St. Augustine grass culturally is that, well, here, why don't we just put these all over here? Give me the, hand me the Zorgia too. Uh, culturally, is that Bermuda grass needs, um, yeah, let's put them in a row so we can. Bermuda grass needs full sun, or at least mostly sun. St. Augustine grass can take partial shade to, uh, it doesn't really do completely, really well in full shade, but as long as it gets three or four hours of sun in a day, it typically can do what it needs to do. Okay. Zoysia grass uh, likes full sun to partial shade, but doesn't handle uh, our heat quite as well as Bermuda grass, not nearly quite as aggressive as Bermuda grass is. As far as from an expense standpoint, zoysia grass is quite expensive. Uh, you typically uh, can do it. You can you can uh, plant zoysia grass from plugs, sprigs, uh, or uh, sod, or seed. St. Augustine is uh, done exclusively from uh, sod or plugs, and Bermuda grass can be done from all of those. Okay, so St. Augustine. This, the the uh, cedar, a lot of times on the cultivars are sterile, or else they just don't make it that. Uh, Bermuda grass makes seed like it's going out of style. All right, and zoysia grass all, uh, also makes plenty of seed to, to be used in that way. All right, for you guys to be able to tell the difference, obviously, St. Augustine, not gonna be so much of an issue. St. Augustine spreads uh, a lot of times by these Stolens, we have just above the, which, which is just a runner. Stolens just above the, the leaf, uh, soil surface. Okay, the leaf bases are extremely flat and almost sort of convex. If you feel the, that leaf base right there, it's really fleshy and sort of convex. It's sort of more rounded on this side than it is over here. Okay, so that's a good way to be able to tell Saint Augustine, and also. St. Augustine, the tip of the foliage, which I cut this one not long ago, but the tip on the foliage, like this one right here, is rounded at the end, it's not pointed. Zoysia and Bermuda grass are both pointed at the end. Okay. So, you guys can pass that around. But the one that I probably, if I were you, that I would concern myself most with is being able to tell the difference between Bermuda and Zoysia. All right, first of all, just that, first glance, realize there are different cultivars, many, many cultivars of Bermuda grass, and a number of cultivars, there's four or five cultivars of zoysia that are being used widely in the trade right now. But just at first glance, zoysia has uh, got a much broader leaf than Bermuda grass does. And that's, ba that's pretty typical. Uh, the Bermuda grass, the common Bermuda that you see is uh, similar to this, and then the more cultivated that it is, the, the more like a, a cultivar is typically thinner. So it's a, typically a thinner blade, whereas Zoysia has a, a little bit wider blade. Obviously, St. Augustine has a much wider blade than either of them. Okay. And then you see that Bermuda grass, down here, at the, let me get a little piece of it for you. Okay. So you see how many times it sort of branches off and there are a number of different leaves there. Zoysia, doesn't branch as much as Bermuda does, in my opinion. Well, that won't help. So you can kind of see it's much more sparsely branched than Bermuda is. Okay. Other thing is, right, when the ligules meet the, the combs, you have patches of hair, whereas Bermuda grass, it also has uh, hair on it, but it's not quite as, uh, it doesn't congregate as much. So the hair is more evenly dispersed on Bermuda grass than on the, you see that on the, the zoysia, okay? <coughs> so look for broader leaf uh, leaves on the zoysia than on the Bermuda grass. Look for these tufts of hair where the ligules will meet the, the palms. 
Whereas on Bermuda grass, the hair is sort of more evenly dispersed. Okay. And then obviously a little bit more branched than on Zoysia. All right. Hopefully that helps you out. If there were seed structures, it would help out a whole lot because uh, St. Augustine seed structures are very thick and sort of clubby. Bermuda seed structures, uh, three to seven spikes that hold uh, the seeds uh, up above the grass. And then the zoysia seed structure is almost somewhere in the middle. It's a little intermediate. It's kind of clubby, but it uh, has more spikes than the, than the St. Augustine. Right. Are there questions on this? I know this